Chick-fil-A's plans for international expansion have suffered a setback, as their first outlet in the UK has announced that they will be closing in six months, just days after making their opening debut in the country, amid LGBTQ protests. Gay rights activists have protested against the chain for contributing millions of dollars to anti-LGBTQ groups. Protesters swarmed the Oracle shopping centre in Reading, holding up signs stating, get the chick out, say no to bigotry and hatred on your high street. Chick-fil-A has long faced criticism from LGBTQ groups who have attacked CEO Dan Cathy after he repeatedly made comments condemning homosexuality and gay marriage, as well as donating $1.8 million in 2017 to groups that spread anti-LGBTQ rhetoric. The company were quick to defend the allegations, noting in a statement that the donations were intended to help with economic mobility of young people by focusing on homelessness and poverty, education and community revitalization, and is done with no political or social agenda. Dan Cathay, the founder's son, has, however, been quite clear in his beliefs, openly stating in a radio interview in 2012 that America is inviting God's judgment on our nation when we shake our fist at him and say we know better than you as to what constitutes a marriage. I pray God's mercy on our generation that has such a prideful, arrogant attitude and thinks we have the audacity to redefine what marriage is all about. Given the opportunity to back down from his statements, he later refused, saying he was guilty as charged in his beliefs. Chick-fil-A made another foray into international markets in September, opening a store in Canada, which also drew groups of protesters over the same issue. Whilst international expansion is proving tricky, business at home is still going strong, with the company now the third largest and one of the most successful restaurant chains in the country, reporting revenue in the region of $10.5 billion in 2018, up 17% in a year. Chick-fil-A stands behind only McDonald's, who reported $38.52 billion in U.S. sales in the year, and Starbucks, who reported sales of $20.49 billion for the same period. Originally founded as the Dwarf Grill in 1946, the company rebranded as Chick-fil-A in 1967. They operate 2,300 restaurants across 47 states, with many of the company's values influenced by the religious beliefs of its late founder, S. Truett Cathy, a devout Southern Baptist. All restaurants are closed for business on Sundays, as well as on Thanksgiving and Christmas. This stance clearly particularly problematic for its airport and sports stadium locations. The American Customer Satisfaction Index has, however, rated Chick-fil-A the number one company in the country for the past four years. The company's customer service is well known, with several memes circulating, depicting real and imagined over-the-top polite employee interactions. Chick-fil-A are clearly not giving up on the UK just yet. Commenting on the closure, a Chick-fil-A spokesman stated that we have been pleased with what we've seen in the UK in terms of customer response to our food and our approach to customer service. We mutually agreed to a six month lease with the Oracle in Reading as part of a longer term strategy for us as we look to build a permanent presence in the UK.